what the container did was first and foremost, it standardized cargo. So the first order effect of the container was automation. Because when you have cargo that is standardized, you don't need humans to lift cargo on and off ships. And so when the container ca came up, everybody saw the first order effect of the container as automation, the way everybody sees the effect of AI today as automation. But the story of the container had stopped at the ports in terms of port automation. We would have missed out everything that the container then did. What happened next was actually far more interesting because the real opportunity of the container got unlocked when trucks, trains, and ships agreed to one common format of the container. So now, what that allowed us to do was that you could ship a container from any point on Earth to any other point on Earth seamlessly with one contract, with one container moving from source to destination. So it was really the standardization and agreeing on a common standard that enabled containerization to create new value. Companies could now work with any supplier across the world. So the rise of China happened, global supply chains came into being, and so the real effect of the container came about when the standardization of the container across different modes of transport unlocked fundamentally new workflows and value chains that did not exist in the past. Whatever we see today in terms of when we talk about composability because of the cloud, composability of the manufacturing supply chain really started because of the container. So my point over here is just this, that when you have a new technology coming in, the effects of automation are minuscule. They will give you the first order effects for the first one or two years, but the real winners and losers come up not because of automation, but because of redesigning the system around a new way to coordinate actors in the new system.